all wanted to start off at the very beginning. How did you get involved? And how did you start up your company? How did you um, so as a little girl, my mum worked for an amazing woman called the Countess Lavati. Okay. And so when I was little, I would go into work with her and I'd spend lots of time in the laboratory with all the sort of big glass jars and uh, sandalwood powder. Yeah. And I noticed that I couldn't read the names of anything on the jars, okay. but I could memorise everything by smell. It's, it's something that comes really second nature to me. So when I place fragrances and ingredients together, it's everything that I'm feeling, everything from happiness to sadness to anger to how I see colour, everything, and I pour it into the bottle. When I wrote this book, it was very much about telling my story from my perspective, but it was also a thank you and a love letter to all of those amazing people that gave me something. It's a story of inspiration, it's a story of creativity, yes. it's a story of passion, passion towards a product and yes. life. And I hope somebody reads it and th thinks to themselves, you know what, she can do it, so can I. I'm going to bring it back a tiny bit to Jo Malone. You ended up selling it. What, yep. what was the choice behind that? Why? When you have a little entrepreneurial business and yeah. you're growing rapidly and the world want your product from nutmeg and ginger to nine basil and mandarin, yeah. you have this little pool of money at the end of the month. And as you're growing, that pool of money gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. We either stayed where we were and stopped growing we grew the business, but we would have to have help. Or we had to think about it a whole different way. But I sold thinking yeah. I would stay with it forever and ever and ever. And then suddenly, a curveball came from nowhere that I hadn't expected. I was a young mum, yeah. and I was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer and a very, very aggressive form of it. So that changes anyone's Thanks. life. Yeah. So I took a year out and fought it, came back, and I didn't feel connected with my business anymore, and I didn't feel Joe, and I couldn't create fragrance, and I was a very, very sort of um, frustrated, unhappy human being, so I made the decision to leave. Cut to five years later, and a healthy Joe is back with her new company, Joe Loves, and she's feeling more herself than ever. I'm happy to be Joe again. I'm happy. This, this isn't about me proving to anybody no. anything but myself, actually. The joy of being a shopkeeper again and, and being yeah. able to think something and make it a reality in, in a bottle is, you know, for me, is, makes my heart beat. Joe's new book, Joe Malone, My Story, is available now.